Let's look at how to load an image from a buffer from a link. So what we're going to need here is I just have a texture rect here so that I can apply my texture to it. And this texture is going to be the image that we get from our link. And I'm using an HTTP request, which I just called my image request that we're going to use to, well, I guess get the data uh, from that page. Now I have a URL here for my image. And I have a variable called ext for my extension. And before I make my request, I'm going to get the extension of that URL. That way I know which, which uh, method to call here. And we make our request. And once that request has been completed, we make sure that request was a success, 200. Otherwise we say that we failed, get the image. And in order to load in this image we create a new image and then based on the extension webp png jpeg or tga we call the appropriate uh, function to load the image that we got from uh the body which has been stored inside of our buffer we load that into the image and then as long as the height and width of our image is greater than zero, meaning that we actually have something, because if, if we have nothing, then it would be a zero, zero. Then we create a new image texture and we set the image of that texture. And then we can get the texture property on our texture rec and set that to our texture variable. So now if we were to run this, bam, there we go. Of course, I can extend this out so we can actually see the full image. And that'll work with any other image that we get. If I just went online and found another image, I'm just going to replace my image URL here. Boom, put this new image and I'll run it. And there you go. We now have a the image loaded from online right into or loaded into our project and used as a buffer or used as a texture onto our texture rec. So with this, you can go ahead and load images of any of the available types here to use as a texture or to quickly show something uh, based on whatever your project is. For example, let's say you're creating uh, an application for the desktop and you're working with an API and one of the things that you get back is an image or whatever you're looking up. Thumbnail, you can then take that link make a request, load that from buffer, and now you can use that image on your page without having to load or without having to download maybe thousands of images uh, just to work properly with an API. And just one more here where we can see those are both JPEGs and here's a PNG. Boom, and there we go. So Again, it'll work with any of those, and since we classified them by uh, based off the extension, we can use the proper function to load it from our buffer to our image. And if you didn't know, the underscore here just means a wildcard. So it basically, if it doesn't match any of these options here, then this is the uh, code block that's going to trigger. And just by having a comma in between here, it's going to load either if it matches either JPEG. Or JPEG then it'll use this function so both cases are covered there instead of having a duplicate code entry and there you have it just a short little video showing you how you can load an image from the internet and use it in your project